Just like stroke, cardiac arrest can happen without any warning. You're out for a jog or walking in the park. According to the Canadian Heart Rhythm Society, more than 40,000 Canadians die every year from sudden cardiac arrest. President of this society and one of the country's leading experts, Dr. Chris Simpson says that it's now possible to identify patients who are at high risk for sudden cardiac arrest and rescue them before it's too late. Every day, 100 Canadians die from a sudden cardiac arrest. It's, it seems unpredictable because most patients who have cardiac arrest are going about their normal business at work or at home and uh, seemingly without warning they will just simply drop dead. A few years ago that almost happened to Frank Jarrett of Kingston. I managed to get back to the phys ed center and um, in the locker room I began to feel worse and worse, uh, more and more faint. Um, they called an ambulance and I was taken to hospital after being cardioverted. Frank, who's a psychiatrist, is one of the lucky ones. Only 5% of people who suffer a sudden cardiac arrest survive. Cardiologist Chris Simpson suggested Frank get an ICD, an implantable cardioverter defibrillator, in case it happened again and Frank wasn't as lucky the second time around. Well, an ICD is implanted like a pacemaker in the upper chest. Uh, I think it was Vice President Dick Cheney who referred to it as a pacemaker plus. He's probably the world's most famous uh, ICD patient. Okay, so here's the uh, defibrillator. We'll open it up. And what we'll do is we'll hook in the, this end of the wire right into the header of the defibrillator and we s screw it in. It's implanted in the left upper chest uh, like a pacemaker and then a wire is uh, hooked up to the device and uh, put down into the heart through the vein. So it's all contained underneath the skin. And the device will sit there and it monitors the heart 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. And it's just simply watching the heart. And so if a patient is destined to have a cardiac arrest tomorrow or next week or next year or in five years, uh, the device will detect that immediately. It will charge itself up and delivers a shock to restore the normal rhythm, usually within about 10 seconds or so. There's a lot of confusion about the terms cardiac arrest and heart attack, which are very different. A heart attack is a plumbing problem where an artery leading to the heart becomes blocked. A cardiac arrest is an electrical event caused by a dangerously fast heart rhythm. The only way to rescue someone from a cardiac arrest is with prompt defibrillation, the delivery of an electrical shock to restore a normal heart rhythm. More and more portable defibrillators are being installed in public places but now doctors have a way to identify patients who are at high risk of cardiac arrest. Well, m many strategies have been under investigation, but it appears uh, at the moment that the best test that we have is a simple measurement of the heart muscle's function, called the ejection fraction. So people who have heart disease and damaged heart muscles have a low ejection fraction, and people who have healthy hearts and a normal heart muscle have a normal or high ejection fraction. And Dr. Chris Simpson, who's president of the Canadian Heart Rhythm Society, says the technology continues to improve. There's a new type of ICD called a resynchronization ICD, which in addition to rescuing people from sudden death, also has the capability of changing the way that the heart muscle beats, helping to strengthen it and making it more efficient. And this type of uh, ICD also improves quality of life for patients who have shortness of breath from heart failure and other symptoms like fatigue. So we now have the ability not only to help patients live longer, but live better as well. It's quite comfortable. Virtually all of the time I just don't know it's there. Sometimes I'm conscious of it because, say, if I'm wearing a backpack, the straps go over here and the straps press on the, uh, on the defibrillator. But um, usually I'm just not conscious of it. And it's never malfunctioned at all. With ICDs, like any other medical device, pacemakers or artificial hips, there's always potential for risk of complications, infection or defects. But major studies suggest considering how sophisticated ICDs are, they actually rarely fail. The real controversy has been an economic one. While ICDs have the potential to save dozens of lives every year, in Canada they are being underutilized. The evidence is extremely strong and I don't think anybody disputes the, the efficacy of the, of the ICD. And uh, nobody disputes that, uh, that we know the types of patients who, who should be getting them. But as with any new technology, there's, uh, 
there's always some reluctance on the basis of ministries of health to, to fund new technologies that come on the market. But we're making some significant headway now. And patients say the defibrillator has allowed them to enjoy life with peace of mind. It's changed my life. It's made um, ordinary life possible. Uh, there's no downside that I can see to these things. It's, it's unobtrusive. Um, it, it, there are no symptoms. I just have it and I forget about it. This is a condition which would have uh, made me a cardiac invalid if I hadn't had it. As it is now, I can um, exercise every day, do anything I want to do really, travel, uh, all sorts of things. Find out if you're at high risk for cardiac arrest by asking your doctor, or you can also check out this helpful website.